if you're not getting a non-qualified stock option, what's the other main type you're getting? The other type of stock option, and these were very, very common during the tech boom of the late 1990s, mm -hmm. is an incentive stock option. And these have some preferential tax treatment in the tax code, um, but there's also some pitfalls associated with them. Mm -hmm. um, and so we probably want to go through this in some detail, but also a little bit, little bit slowly. Okay. Does that so sound okay? That sounds good. We're going to work through this piece by piece. Okay. okay. So an incentive stock option differs from a non-qualified stock option um, because, this is going to get technical, under the ordinary method of calculating taxes, the one that you're probably most familiar with, mm -hmm. when you exercise an incentive stock option, that bargain element is not subject to tax. Nice. Wow. Okay. Pretty cool. Right. Pretty cool. The other key piece about incentive stock options is provided you hold the underlying stock to meet qualifying holding periods, mm -hmm. and I'll describe those in a moment, then when you later sell the stock, you can recognize capital gains tax treatment, long-term capital gains tax treatment, and that's applied on the excess on, on the amount from the strike price mm -hmm. to the sale price. Right, so it becomes much, so it's not just that you don't have to pay the taxes right away, it's also that the rate of tax on a big portion of that is a much lower tax rate because capital gains taxes generally are lower than, than ordinary income tax rates right. and compensation tax rates. So that sounds pretty good. So far, and you're probably asking what's the catch? But what is the catch? <laughs> <laughs> the catch is, and I'm going to do a brief aside, <clears throat> I've got I think a great example for this. Okay. You've probably heard of the alternative minimum tax. Right. Okay. Do you know what it is? What is the alternative minimum tax, Jeff? So <laughs> glad you asked. The alternative minimum tax is a parallel method mm -hmm. for computing taxes. Okay. So it's not layered on top of the ordinary tax, even though it might look that way if you look at your, your tax form. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's a completely separate calculation. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like for, for a layperson. <clears throat> I can either take the freeway to work or I can take surface streets. Yeah. Okay? There's two different ways of getting there, but I'm going to run into different things along the way. Mm -hmm. And so is the case between ordinary tax and alternative minimum tax. Mm -hmm. I'll loop back around, but the key to alternative minimum tax as it relates to incentive stock options is for the purposes of calculating the alternative minimum tax, you have to include some things that are not included in the ordinary tax calculation. Mm -hmm. And that bargain element upon the exercise of an incentive stock option is one of those items that you have to include as income when mm -hmm. you compute the alternative minimum tax. Right. Okay, so that's a key difference. So we were say we were saying, oh, the great thing about an incentive stock option is that I don't have to pay the tax on that bargain element when I exercise. And that's why I qualify but, it by saying under the ordinary <laughs> method. Right. But if when I go back to recalculate my taxes as, to see if I am due to pay under AMT, it is included. Right. So. Right. You have to include that as, as income in the AMT calculation. Mm -hmm. And so that can create some issues. And in fact, it did in the late 1990s where you had a lot of holders of incentive stock options who exercised their options, they thought there was no tax due, and they thought, great, I'll hold the stock for meeting the qualifying holding periods, which we should talk about, and then I'll just sell it and get long-term capital gains. Mm -hmm. And they were very, very nastily surprised when the IRS tapped them on the shoulder and said, by the way, um, you owe us tax. And they said, what do you mean? Right. I mean, exercise an incentive stock option. They said, yes, but... Um, we did the alternative minimum tax calculation and you ended up owing yeah. more under AMT and so pay up. Right. And there were a lot of real bad outcomes that came from that. Okay. And is this why we had put a, a point in here saying that the tax rate might depend on a variety of factors and these are the factors we're talking about. That's correct. As whether or not you're, you're going to end up owing AMT. That's correct. Right. Right.